What's up guys, JB Games here, and uh, welcome back to another video. Um, today we're going to be looking at how to improve your Hunger Games. So, I'm not the greatest Hunger Games player, and um, as you can see from this map, I die a stupid death, but um, it's all about how to improve your game. So here on this map, um, on I think it's something Valley, I can't pronounce it, um, so for the life of me, so sorry guys, but... Um, Basically, um, I'm playing on the Skydoz Minecraft server, so skga.me, which, uh, and here I kind of, I know it's completely going off topic here, well it's not, but here I kind of like die a stupid, well not die a stupid death, but I get, I was dead stupid because I thought this guy was going to the right, but then I saw him, so he punched me a couple times, and I went to go punch him, and he got a couple good hits on me, so I just, like kind of like, I've got to get out of here, I've got to get out of here, how do I get out of here? I drop down, and then, just like, just wait for him to go. One thing I could have done here was, I could have waited, and, uh, until he had actually left, because he could have just like, come and sneak attack me, if he found a chest with a stone sword, and then I would have been finished. So, I would recommend playing on this server if you're like a newbie like me, because like, less pe people are less competitive on the server, and they are like um that it's easier for me because like i'm not that good <laughs> but here another stupid thing is i should have looked around first because somebody could have just like come whacked me in the back and i would have been dead like straight away so even though i do got like, full armor a decent sword and a butter slapper from here it was really stupid because i could have just lost that all um but um i get an achievement here nothing too amazing uh, but uh, if you're wondering what texture pack I'm using I'm using a adaption of faithful I'm using the PvP 2.5 texture pack uh, it's really good for PvP as you can see because the GUI is clear so you can see people coming but um, another thing here I could have I could have looked around and another thing I would have done here is you've got to get food man because like I'm really low on food I realize I'm really low on food but I can't really do anything about it so I just kind of like panic a bit in the future because I have no food. But um, here um, I pull out, I've got a stone sword, iron axe. This stone sword is best, so that's why I'm using it. Um, but here uh, I just took a stupid heart, stupid, stupid, stupid. And the reason for that, the reason for it is that, um, I don't know, you've got... I'm, I'm very careless because <laughs> I'm used to wearing feather fallen boots on say a server or something like that but um, it's very interesting to see what I've done wrong so rule number one always make sure you've got food take food and weapons but I would always choose weapons over food because like you can find food but um, if you wonder why my voice is a bit gritty and a bit tired it's because I woke up quite early this morning and uh, still not woken up, and I don't want to cough during a recording because I'll probably wake up my whole household. So here, I didn't realize that uh, chests refill every day. So um, I could have just waited like another like ten seconds, probably even less, and I and I would have like been given some items there. I think that glitched because I opened it as soon as day two uh, was there, so it must have glitched out. But here I find the edge of the map, so if you ever wanted to get out of the map, I think it kills you, but if you ever have like for falling fall boots, then just like drop down and you can troll people. Um, <laughs> but here, um, I'm kind of like on the prowl for chests again, and I've just realised that I'm sprint jumping, which means I'm going to run out of food quickly. So uh, never sprint jump if you haven't got any food, and here I take a stupid, stupid half a heart again but um yeah so here uh i see this bridge so i'm like i'm gonna cross this bridge again um but here i see basically the ravine so it's divided by ravine so if you jump into something then it, there you are but um apparently you got one kill i don't know where i got that one kill from so um, it's getting really dark here as well, man. God. Um, but 
one thing you should always do is check your surroundings before you cross anything precarious, because somebody could have sniped me off and I could have instantly died, but they chose not to. Um, so, yeah. Um, but, that's it really. And uh, here, um, again, somebody could have sneak attacked me if they were crouching. I could have died so easily, and I don't know why I didn't check in that house. It was just like, nah, I'm not going to check in that house. So, here, I knew somebody had definitely looted this chest because it's empty, unless it's a glitch. But, um, because this is still like a beta server. But anyway, um, here. Uh, I saw somebody use their spawn horse item, so I was like, I'll use mine, see whether I can lure everybody, anybody over. But, um, I should, probably should have put something in the chat. But here, like, I didn't see this in the chat at first, so on the bridge, you'll see me uh, beating my sword on the bridge, which means that I'm so happy because I'm in the top five, which is the best I've ever done. So, I'm not complaining. But, yeah, guys, if you're ever gonna, gonna take any tips, get food, get weapons... Don't lose silly hearts and play on the uh, Skyder's Minecraft server because uh, it's just like people are less competitive there. So there, I was looking for people or chests. So that was that was a good move. Um, excuse me, but one thing I could have done here, I've lost half a heart, which could come back to bite me in the bottom later. And um, basically, I pretty much. I go back to spawn and see whether I find I can find any chests. So I think this is definitely a glitch with spawn because like I didn't find anything. I open up this chest. There's nothing. There's nothing. So I just go on the prowl for more food and I nearly do starve to death here, but I don't. So uh, I'm quite happy with that. Um, Another thing, guys, is if you like this video, then actually like it and comment you want to see more, because I'll do one weekly, and then I'll bring up another video, and then if this brings more subscribers to my channel, then yay. I don't see why it wouldn't, but... Um, so here, I get uh, two apples, so I'm so happy about getting these apples, and then that glitches, but I do actually eat the apple, so I'm kind of glad that happened. Um, but here, I could have... I grabbed the butter slapper, because um, they're so trolly. And here I get an extra piece of armor. I spawn that horse and just to see, just to get out of my inventory because horses are dead glitchy on servers, they're dead laggy. So, um, it's kind of like, it's just a bit annoying when, like, you die to a horse because he's so laggy. And then I hear, and then I see this girl, sorry. So, um, I didn't realize this, but at day four, your health lowers, but uh, you'll find out what happens in day four. So basically, um, I kind of like f trying to find a way in because, like, I know she's locked in because there's no way she wouldn't be locked. She would be out if she could get out. So I'll take a silly half a heart there again. So you've got to hold on to those hearts, man. So I kind of like try and like get her, but she's not going to come out anytime soon, really, is she? So. I just kind of like wait her out, and then she does eventually come out. So I get a good, good couple of hits on her, and then she just like knocks me back, and I lose like pretty much all of my hearts. So here I just uh, try and hit her again, but she never comes out. And then I could have lost half heart there, but because I have fell falling on, I didn't. So I'll try and lure her out now with some like items, but um, that doesn't work. And uh, then this is the funny part. Uh, she kind of like just like starts throwing booties out so she starts she throws some booties out and I thought the hitbox was also on the sword so that's why I tried to hit the sword but uh, no it wasn't working for me so now I just kind of like leave her because I'm now not gonna win her in the fight and I'm just gonna get stuck down there and yeah um but here I go on the prowl for more chests and always check furnaces guys that's probably one of my hunger game top tips get definitely check the stairs and I could have gone upstairs here I don't know why I didn't and I just like kind of like get a enchanted thing if you can take upgrades guys and you think you're gonna win a battle then take the upgrade and win the battle so here I just kind of like on the prowl on the prowl and then 
and then d4. So I realised my health has been low to five hearts. So I think I've got an advantage on her because I've got because I thought I had more damaging stuff. And uh, but here you'll see that uh, I just re I, <laughs> I remembered she was there. And here I take a stupid. I think it's two hearts, and that I think that's why what lost me in my battle. Because like here I drop down, drop down, get two good hits on her, and then I die. I don't know how I died, but, um, yeah. So, anyway, guys, uh, this has been JV Games. If you liked, then like it. And if you and if you want to see more, then comment it. So, I ask her how many hearts here, and she doesn't reply, which means she's probably on 2 or one So, I kind of take a stupid death there. I could have used my revenge token, but I decided not to. So, here I kind of go and look for where people are on the map and they're all around the sides of the map one of them's in a, the ravine and one of them is uh like uh on the prowl on the outside and one of them's right next to the town so i probably would have got my death to this guy like but anyway guys this has been jb games and i'm out bye